So the great exposures in the Grand Canyon have given us a chance to crawl back in between the layers in the Tapeat sandstone, the bottom layer of the flat-lying rocks. And you can see that the layers are, are, are laid down horizontally, the older one on the bottom and successively. And you can see a little green layer there. That's one of these muds where the water got a little deeper for a while and then back into beach sands. But the thing I'm really interested in is that one foot thick bed there where the layering is at an angle to the bedding. We call that cross bedding. They, we go to modern beaches and we see that they form on the front of uh, dunes which can be laid by water or sometimes wind. This one looks like it was laid by water. As the water was flowing that way, the dune migrated in that direction, uh, leaving behind this trace of a migrating bed form on the beach. And then of course, the next layer covered it at a later time, and the next one and the next one. This layer up here is just completely burrowed by these worm burrows. You can see the trace fossils. We're on the underside of the bed, so we're seeing sort of the, the casts of these worm burrows uh, in the bed above me. So it's geology, it's living here. We're seeing the, the, all the evidence for the deposition of this uh, beach sand 520 million years ago.